Hello. I'm trying to set my phone up here so that it's not too crooked. I'm terrified it's gonna fall out here. Hi guys. I got something really cool and I did a little bit more shopping. So as always, I'm going to wait for a sec, wait for some peeps to hop on because it says zero people are watching. Seriously? Gosh. Hmm. I'm just drinking some coffee. There's three of you. Okay. So what do I have to talk to you guys about? Hi, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, are you, is this the Maggie that just ordered a passport traveler's notebook junk journal? Hi, Missy from GA. Is that Georgia? Maybe. <gasps> Hi, Maggie. Well, that's cool that that's you. Guess what? I actually just finished your um, <clears throat> junk journal last night. Well, no, I finished it this morning and uh, you probably saw that I sent you a shipping label. So I'm going to send your journal uh, when I go to pick my son up from preschool and I love it. So I hope that you love it. I didn't think I would get it done so quick, um, but sometimes when I feel inspired, I can't go to sleep. So let's just say I stayed up late. I know you guys, I feel well rested today. Well rested. I got, I feel like I got a lot of sleep. What time? Who cares? We don't need to talk about how much sleep I got. Anyways, uh, my friend Jamie asked if anyone wanted a sewing machine in this mom's group that I'm in. And I like jumped on that. I was like, yes, please, I want it. Um, Maggie, maybe in a sec, or at the end of this video, I'll show a little sneak peek. But anyways, so I was like, yes, I need a sewing machine because mine broke and I use a sewing machine daily for my journals. And so she's like, okay, it's yours. And um, then I got an email from the place where I ordered my new We Are Memory Keepers sewing machine. What place? It's called Craft. I forget what it's called. I made a video about it anyways. And they let me know that the sewing machines were delayed. Like I'm not going to get it till June now. And that's a really big bummer because I'm relying on that. Um, anyway, so it was like perfect timing when my friend said she didn't tell me anything about the sewing machine, but I was like, I'll take it. And she said it works. And so I go to pick it up and it's this vintage sewing machine. Um, and so, yeah, it's awesome. I was nervous at first cause I was like, okay, this is really cool. I'm excited to have it, but it, like, will it work for me? So it does work. My mom's coming over to help me get it all set up because I, I did get it set up and threaded and it works, but I haven't actually sewn anything yet because I was just busy yesterday. So I'm going to wait till she gets here. Um, I'll show you guys a better, better, let's see if I can show it to you better. So it has this really cool case. And I mean, it's teal. It's like the real deal versus uh, the new sewing machines, the Stitch Happy sewing machines that are out. It's like the real one. And it's so cool, but it is so heavy. It's probably weighs as much as me, which isn't that much, but it probably weighs a lot. And um, yeah, so no, I haven't received my Stitch Happy. Um, because yeah, it's delayed. And I did see a review. There's a review on, um, oh, what channel is that? There's a channel. Um, let's see, anything was up here? Oh, sorry, I was reading. Um, yeah, someone did a review on their Stitch Happy that they just received, and I'm a little nervous about it, guys, because she said the tension was super tight. She had it on a low tension too. She like had it on a two and it was super tight. You could see the thread was like, it was hard to pull through. And that's the issue I had with my old sewing machine that was an inexpensive sewing machine. So I was kind of wondering, is that like a thing that inexpensive machines have? Really tight tension because that break, that's what was breaking my needles. Um, so I'm nervous, but if it doesn't work well, I'm gonna return it and try to get something that is more like, a sewing machine brand because you know we are memory keepers they don't make sewing machines so uh i guess i can't really expect that it's going to be perfect but i'm just gonna wait till it gets here i'll do a review on it and stuff um yeah i've already been looking at sewing machines because my mom was like oh did you know walmart has some that are like close to mine like they do the same kinds of things not as nice but she's like you can get one like for a couple hundred bucks so if you guys have recommendations for a good sewing machine that does a ton of different stitching and it's gonna be good, let me know just so I can have that as backup. 
Okay, so anyway, so yeah, I got this, but I'm really excited. Yeah, it's very, very big. I think someone asked if I was going to do Disney themed junk journals. Mm, here's the thing, I don't have a lot of Disney themed uh, paper and embellishments and Disney stuff is so expensive. So I feel like I would have to charge a lot for those darn junk journals because the paper is just so expensive. Um, yeah, so anyways, I don't know. Um, I've had a few requests for Disney books and things like that and I've made a couple, but I also am pretty sure you have to be very careful about selling Disney items on Etsy. I'm almost for sure that you can't like create, say you want to make a uh, Mickey Mouse planner clips. I'm pretty sure that you can't do that. I know that people do. I know that you can get away with it, but I'm almost certain that you can't like copy Disney things. So I don't know if that means I couldn't sell my own Disney junk journals. I could be wrong, but if you guys know on that, let me know. I just want to be really careful with my shop and you know, yeah. So yeah, so. Ooh, a, tr a flamingo travel journal. Journal. Um, you know, I got the new Tropical Life paper pad, and it has a lot of flamingo in it. But I, and I was going to make a junk journal with that, but it wouldn't be a uh, full flamingo because I haven't ever found any uh, digital kits or uh, paper pads that are like all flamingo. But uh, Pamela, if you wanted one that was like tropical with as much flamingo as I could get in there, we can chat. I am busy, but I would be more than happy to talk to you about that. And I can be on the lookout for flamingo themed stuff. Um, speaking of tropical, I went to Joann's yesterday after I picked up this sewing machine and I got this right here. And I was looking to make a beach themed junk journal and I didn't have any beach themed paper. So I don't usually do too too much uh, brights in my journals, but this was gorgeous. And a lot of times I think that beach themed stuff is pretty cheesy. You know, I'm not that into like cartoony type stuff. I don't, just me, um, I make stuff with it, but I thought this was so pretty. And so I am making two junk journals right now with this. One is for a lady who's buying it for her daughter. It's going to be a very special journal. And, um, any beach stuff or tropical stuff? Okay. Oh, okay, Pamela. Um, and I'm making one of these for my cousin's daughter who's going to Mexico. So yeah, this is really pretty. Um, Pamela, have you seen the new Tropical Life collection at Michael's? Cause yeah, it is gorgeous. And there is a lot of flamingo in there and I have a lot of flamingo washi tape, but yes, we can chat. Um, I don't know if you're on my Instagram. It's hard to keep track of all the names, but that would be a great spot to email me or message me, or you can message me on Etsy and we can just casually talk about it. No strings attached. Oh, you have it all. Okay, well, I have, I have lots of options, so we could talk. <laughs> okay. I also found these. I was wanting to find some frames. I really like making frames in my junk journals, but it's kind of a lot of work and it's hard to get circles just right. Like if I'm using an X-Acto knife usually um, to make the circles so that you can have a hole in the paper, but I thought this would be really cool and I really liked both. They were 40% off, so yeah. <clears throat> I'm a paper freak too. If you saw how much paper I had, like, you might have as much, as, you probably do have as much as me if, if you're a paper freak. Now look how cute these paper clips are. Can you even see? They're so teeny tiny, I'll take one out. Um, I should be working right now, by the way. <laughs> I did finish one of my custom orders for the day, Maggie's, but I also have a junk journal that I need to be working on for um, the lady who's ordered one for her daughter. Okay, these paper clips. Oh gosh, can't, will you even be able to see? They're just teeny tiny. And I thought they would be so cute on um, the mini traveler's notebook inserts. So anyways, that was all I got at Joann's, not too much. Um, so Maggie's, let me grab something real quick. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I did a video flip through, but this is for her. I don't know if she's still on, but um, I'll just show a little sneak peek. I didn't know that the passport style inserts were so teeny tiny. 
So it's three and a half by four and a half, although hers is a little bit shorter because she was wanting to match the sizes of her other inserts. So hers a little bit different than passport size, just a little bit smaller, shorter, I think. Um, but, oh, hi, good, you're still here. I Sometimes I go in and out of live videos, so I wasn't sure. So I hope that you like this, lots of trims, and it's like chunky, but in a traveler's notebook, it'll stay closed, and there is lots of room to add all kinds of stuff, and I'm just gonna show the first page, okay, because I did a, a video, so I hope that she loves it. Um, I was not able to sew because my sewing machine's broke, you know, or I haven't started this one yet, but I did have some little sewn pockets that I already had, and so, oh good. Um, yeah, I've never shown someone their journal like live, so that was a little, <laughs> I'm having a panic attack right now, just kidding. But um, yes, so that's going to get sent out to her. I just love how little it is. So I didn't have any idea how uh, little the passport size was. I love how chunky it is, like look at that. And little things, you know, falling off, or not, not falling off, coming out of the book. I'm sending extra stuff with that too, by the way. Um, but. Yes, it's teeny tiny and I don't have very many like miniature envelopes or pockets, things like that because I don't use them very often. So I had to make some for that and I just, I loved it. They're so small. So I did start like seven more. <laughs> That's what I do. When I like doing one thing, I wanna make like a hundred. I have to. <laughs> you have to have one of those. Okay, so I, I started a few more here. This one, these I thought would be kind of like cute little writing diaries. I love calling them diaries because how cute is that? I don't know. And then I'm going to decorate these. You know, these are not, these are not anywhere near done. Anywhere near done. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think of miniature things I can put in them. Like, cause miniature is so fun, but those miniature paper clips, adorable. I used those. Um, miniature envelopes, miniature journaling cards. I made some for hers. They're so cute and little, and I think it would be so fun to do memory keeping in one of these. Um, but anyways, I will get those done when I can. And uh, for now, that's all I'm working on. I need to get back to working on cutting down paper. And um, yeah, what else? I need to gut like six books. I need to, oh, on the, oh, let me read this real quick. Yes, it is becoming fab. Yes, 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 yes. It was becoming fab who had the review on the sewing machine. So go check that out. That was a good review. She just opened it up and showed it straight out of the box. I did comment to her that I was, I said, this makes me nervous because the tension thing. And I think she said, she replied, and I feel like she was like saying it was okay. Like it was okay after she, or something like that. I can't remember what she said. Um, but yeah, if it doesn't work great, if it's not feeling smooth, I'm going to return it. I'm not gonna keep it just cause it's cute uh, because I don't have the space for that. So yeah, I just, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I need it to work. I don't have time to go to my mom's and sew all of my things. Okay, the tropical journals that I'm working on right now are, um, I'm going to do something fun on the back sides of the design papers that are white. I am going to watercolor all of them. So you know I've been doing that rainbow unicorn dye paper. Well, I'm going to do watercolor and use my mermaid markers that I got from Jane Davenport. So I think that'll be cool. Hi, jo Joan. Joan, not probably Joanne. Wait, maybe, it oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm glad that you caught me too. Um, someone just asked me a question. What was it? I don't remember. I saw someone ask me something. I was gonna get back to it. You guys might, you're, you might be used to it now. <laughs> this is why I probably shouldn't do live videos, but you guys, you're fine with it. So, yeah. Um, Joanne, okay. I feel like, I, I don't know why I thought it was Joan for a minute, duh. Are they already printed? Oh, you want a junk journal? Are you saying that you want a junk journal like the little miniature ones? Well, just message me. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Someone asked if I was looking for the Enchanted. Um, no, <laughs> not looking for it anymore. Thankfully, I was talking about how much I needed those and so many people 
reached out to me, Amy from Scrap Your Own Way. She sent me one. Um, and then Denise, also one of my subscribers, she sent me two. I paid for them, but she actually paid for the shipping and I owe her a junk journal. I'm making her a junk journal and on that junk journal, I'm going to film my cross stitch and make a much better edited video, close ups and all, so that you guys can have a good cross stitch tutorial and you can make your own um, books if you want, you know? So, oh yes, I will definitely show you how I thread my sewing machine and all of that. Are you talking about the new one? I don't know. <laughs> yes, okay, Pamela, anyways, these mini ones that I was showing a moment ago, they are not all spoken for. I literally just cut them and got them started. So, um, yes. Okay, um, I'll definitely think about doing Disney junk journals. I guess I just have to look into it a little bit more and I would have to um, see what I can get my hands on. So, uh, yeah. Oh, does my new machine work? Are you talking about my new vintage machine? Uh, yes, it works. And do I alter books? Uh, make it my first journal. Okay, um, first of all, yes, I would ship to Canada if you don't mind paying the shipping. I don't think it's that much more, but uh, I would definitely ship to Canada. You just have to message me so I can set that up. And my vintage sewing machine, it does work. I haven't actually sewed anything with it, but it works. My mom's coming over today to kind of help me set it all up because there's this thing on here. here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys off here. Um, that says stitch regulator and I'm like thinking maybe this is different stitches I'm not exactly sure and then there's just all kinds of different things I'm not used to like this is the bobbin I guess and I don't exactly yeah I had it set up last night but <laughs> and it, it works when I plug it in but uh, that's cool that you have one from 1940s and then someone asked me I'm sorry guys someone else asked me something anyways I think I forgot. Yeah, so, yes, I can message you. Oh boy, I need to write that down. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I can't write that down right now. I don't know where a pen is. If you could send me an email, I will have my email in, yeah, I don't know. I'll have it somewhere for you in the video. Um, Make one cheerio handmade journal. Oh boy, I didn't quite read that last message. Oh, I think someone was asking if I alter books or albums. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Sometimes I use older books as um, like the base of my book, but I usually cover it. Sometimes I'll use like the book cover pieces and like cut it apart and just use it for the board, but I always recover my own books. So I don't really, I haven't altered books. Um, what got me started into junk journaling? Well, sorry guys, I'm trying to hold you. Um, ah, whoops, you're still there. I'm sorry guys, I don't know if you're still there. I hope you are. I accidentally pressed a button. Oh boy. I'm going to wait for someone to message or comment really quick. Oh boy. We are still here. I just accidentally turned my phone off. Okay. Weird. Sorry guys. Okay. <laughs> I got into junk, making junk journals because I use them. I have always uh, done memory keeping and I started doing memory keeping well before I had my son and he's five and a half now. But when I had him, I got very serious about memory keeping and I started out with digital photo books, but I felt that I didn't have enough room for creativity. And so since I stay home, I have a lot of extra time. I only have one kid. He's a very, very easy kid. He likes to play by himself. He likes to have quiet times several times throughout the day. Um, like I will try to sit and play with him and he'll let me and he likes doing one-on-one -on -one things but he really likes to have his own space just like I do. And so I was like, I gotta get a hobby. So anyways, I just, I started making junk journals as I was crafting and I was kind of exploring making books. So I mean, yeah. I just started making them because I used them myself. I started making them for myself. So, yeah, your two-year-old's a little monster. Yeah, I don't know. I always say that I'm probably going to be doomed with my next kid because Alistair is, he's an angel. Um, yeah, so I'm doomed. I already, it's okay. 
just give me just give me any kind of kid it's okay okay guys well I probably better get going because I've taken up a lot of your time. Thanks for staying. It's so fun to do live videos with you guys. I'm thinking of something extra special to do when I reach 10K, which is coming up. We're like 300 away. And I want to do some really fun live video. Something really cool that no one's ever done before. Maybe not, but um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, toddler age. Yeah, it's definitely. That's a hard age. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining. And I will see you guys later. Oh, and Amy. Uh, no, I never thought that people would be buying my things ever. So, quite the surprise. Okay, bye.